for the fist attacks, we'll begin with the directs. In each attack, I'll have to throw my shoulder and my hip and keep the chin down against the chest in order to cover myself with the shoulder when I throw my direct punch. Now we see the hook punch. Same basic position, but now we raise the elbow like this to keep it horizontal. The rotation movement is always done with the shoulder and the hip in order to take advantage of the impulse from the legs and increase the power of the technique. Now we move on to the work with the uppercut strike. Now we'll look at the positions for the blocks. For the blocks and checks of straight punches, we're going to try to deflect the strike from its axis. Facing a direct punch attack, toward my chin, it's enough to deflect it toward one side. It is useless to do this or to push his arm too forward because now he could counterattack. It's sufficient to use a little movement with the hands or with the forearms, like this. It's simply about deflecting the strike from its axis. Facing hook attacks, we're going to protect placing our arm like this, avoiding that it remains too close to the face. The arm that absorbs the strike will be like this. Confronting the uppercut, we can deflect the strike from its axis or else block the strike before it hits us. The difference between Pankrasi and other disciplines that employ bigger boxing gloves is that we have to keep the protection at the height of the eyebrows in order to avoid any cuts. The blocks are done essentially with the forearms and with the hands.